Hey pizza fam, Santa Barbara Bake here, baking up an epic cheese pizza in my own backyard using an outdoor pizza oven. I have the Unikaru 16. It's already almost up to a thousand degrees. Amazing, huh? It's the most versatile pizza oven of the Uni lineup. And I think it's probably the best outdoor pizza oven out there right now because you can make so many different styles of pizza in it. Like this one, let's get the dough stretched out. I'll show you how I make amazing pizza at home popped out one of my dough balls. Look at this, looking super nice. Gonna put it right down on the marble. And important things here, we're not gonna make a Neapolitan style pizza today. We're gonna go for something a little bit more New York style is what we're gonna call it. And so with that, with your Unikaru 16, you wanna turn it down. Like I was telling you in the intro there, our oven was up to almost a thousand degrees. That's way too hot for the style of pizza we're gonna do, but we definitely wanna make sure we get a big preheat on the oven. So we go ahead and make sure it reaches that full, you know, we're talking maybe like 900 on the deck there before you turn it down. We'll let it settle in more around like 750 to bake. So just turn that thing down when you start stretching or opening up the dough bowl. Look at this, we're gonna go full hand stretch today. Get, put, pop it back down on the marble. If you feel more comfortable that way, and just stretching it all on the marble or even just going around and around like this. You know, it's real easy. Just let gravity do the trick. I think we're already almost open here. I can clean off my workspace here with my handy bench scraper, pop it down what's gonna be the bottom of the pizza here, hit it with some flour. You know, always gotta throw some flour around somewhere. You gotta have something to clean up, pop it back over. I'm moving kind of quickly here. I noticed one thing, the, cr the rim here is a little bit too thick for me. I can push it out a little bit more, but one trick with that is just don't touch the middle so much when you're stretching it, and then you can end up with a little bit more wiggle room. All right, I'm gonna transfer this thing onto the any 16 inch wooden peel. These are rad for building and loading on. I'm gonna hit it with a little dusting of semolina first. I do stretch looking really awesome here on the peel. I got a little bit of semolina here on the peel as well to prevent it from sticking. And another thing, if you're having issues with sticking pizza or it not getting crispy in your uni, try going sauce on top. So we're gonna start with the cheese on the bottom here. It's a blend of two different kinds of mozzarella, both low moisture, one part skim, one whole milk. That'll give you a nice look on the top of the pizza. Kind of like that molten kind of splotchy look you'll see at some New York style pizza places. And we're gonna go for a bake similar to that. I like for a pizza of this size, we're maybe approaching 15, maybe it'll be 16 by the time it gets in the oven. About six ounces of cheese here spread nicely around. That looks pretty good to me. Maybe a little bit more here, we'll hit it. Onto the sauce sauce top so you got cheese first that'll insulate the dough a little bit also it can be a problem there you get a gum line that's it the cheese doesn't really melt and bake onto the crust like it should I'm just going to drizzle some of the sauce on top recipe for this is up on santabarbabaker.com same with the links for all the uni stuff that's featured in here the uni Kauru 16 my favorite of the uni pizza oven lineups and this pizza peel and you know all sorts of good stuff on there i have a little guide of all the uni stuff i like and my tomato sauce is on there pizza sauce the world's best pizza sauce always use the greatest tomatoes and treat them gently is what i like to say all right that looks pretty good we have almost what was that approaching maybe a cup of sauce seems like a lot of sauce maybe but it looks good to me for today and then we'll hit it with some dried oregano this is the super headies from sicily shaken off the bush but i put it in a little deli here and it gives a nice kind of the flavor of this the the tomato sauce isn't really flavored except for some salt so i like to hit it with for these classic kind of pizza joint flavored pizzas and maybe a little bit of garlic powder or you could go slice garlic if you like that but this kind of has the classic flavor and same goes with that dried oregano go huge on that Hit it with a couple basils on here as well. And we'll call it a day as far as topping. But important here, since we're gonna bake a more like New York style pizza here in our uni pizza oven, you gotta pay attention to the temperature here. I turned it down when we were stretching. I can see it dropped the oven 
temperature out front is reading about 530. We're going to turn the oven back up, get that deck to about 750 now before we load our pizza. Check it out, our epic cheese pizza ready to load. I just took the deck temp. It was approaching 800, about 745. I'm gonna slide our pizza off here into the oven, the outdoor, not the outdoor, the outside reading here. This is a little temp reading from a sensor right here. Reading 535, I like that closer to about 600. We're gonna go on a little bit lower end today. I think it'll still be okay. The rad thing is I was talking about with this Kari 16, why I really like this oven a lot is this door. The door is a real game changer here as far as opening up different styles of pizza. Most of these outdoor pizza ovens are designed to make Neapolitan pizza. And that's why you guys struggle with doing New York style or getting a crispy bottom because it's not really how Neapolitan pizza typically works. We're baking something here like New York inspired, which you can do in the Unikaru 16. And that's why this is my favorite of all the uni ovens they have out. And I think it's probably the best outdoor pizza oven on the market right now. You see that cheese melting? That's good. That's really good sign right there. You see it's melting in the front and some bubbling going on on the back with our dough. That's a good indication that might be time to turn the pizza. You see, I got the flame up here. I have it just so it's wrapping across the top of the pizza here. I even see some leoparding going on. So maybe we won't end up with classic New York, but I think it's gonna be boss. You can slide the turning peeler here on underneath, freeing up the pizza gently, making sure you don't rip it. I almost snagged it there, so it could be a little bit sketchy, but I think we're good. Check it out as we do our first turn. Wow, some nice leoparding going on there. You guys dig that, there it is. We'll see here the bottom starting to firm up really nice. Let this continue baking. This one will probably shoot you know, a three minute bake here. Something that will be nice and brown all the way around. The cheese melted, bubbling up. It smells so good. And I want to be able to pick that slice up. I want to hold it, no flop. I think that's what we got going on here. Check it out, some more browning back there. Let's take it for another spin. Looking really bomb. And as I can see here, the colors on the top are looking really nice, but maybe the crust is not as golden brown as we like. So what I can do here is go ahead and turn it all the way down to the low. That's what's rad on the Karu 16 versus the Coda 16. Karu 16 low is amazing. You can bake without any hacks. The Coda 16 requires some hacks to get the crispy bottom, maybe with the ultra low. Check out my vid on that as well. This one's super easy. Maybe a little more difficult to get the leopard spotting, but not really. But crispy bottoms is what we're after here. We want to make pizza that we love and enjoy. And typically, that's something that isn't a piece of uncooked dough. But I don't know, maybe some people um, do enjoy that. I'm not going to judge the bottom there. You guys check that out. Looks so dank. I was already saying, I'm like not going to make Neapolitan. But this thing like looks kind of neat. Neapolitan inspired, I'm not going to lie here. It looks super bomb and it smells so good you can smell like that garlic powder in the little bit of actually i want big on that oregano go huge perfuming the air out here in the neighborhood it smells so dank i think this is home stretch here check out the brown in there wow look at that pizza that's a beautiful looking pizza if i've ever seen one baked at home here epic outdoor pizza we got going on here can you believe you can make pizza like this at your house now I, I do it almost every day and I still trip out on it. I'm fired up on this one. Look at that. You can see as I pick it up here, see how it's it's not saw it's not sagging as I lift it. That's a really good sign that this pizza is about done and it's not gonna be soggy. Let's give it one more spin here. Wow, look at this pie. So rad. I'm pumped on this one. We are going to dig on this, a beautiful pizza out of our Onikaru 16. Let's get it out. Take a look. Always let it, ra let it rest on a little rack here. Make it firm up a little bit. Let's see it. Boom. Hell yeah. Look at this thing. Oh my God. Check that out. Fresh out of the oven. Can you see it? No flop here. We'll peep the bottom a little bit more after it rests. But I know this thing is looking good. I love it. We're gonna let it hang here for a second and we'll take it for a taste. 
Another epic homemade pizza out of the Unikaru 16. Feeling pretty stoked on this one. Look at that. The bottom looks amazing overall. Maybe kind of like a hybrid Neapolitan style here we ended up with. That's the rad thing. We're just baking pizza at home. So we're not too concerned really with what we end up with as long as it's bomb pizza, which I know this one is here. Because we can see on the bottom there that it looks fully baked. The cheese is melted. You know, going sauce top like that is going to give you a little bit better chance of achieving a crispy bottom, I think. I can hear that crunch slicing into it. We love that sound, but let's get into a slice here. Let's slice the whole thing up and share it with anybody around here in case anybody shows up. Let's see here picking this thing up. Wow, check it out. The bottom looks amazing. You know, a little bit of sag on the tip here. I ain't tripping on that. I don't want a pizza that's baked into oblivion and we're covered in sauce and all sorts of digness. Check this thing out. Let's get in it. Mm. The bright burst of that sauce on top. I just love it. And the bake, nice and crispy like that. I have the two different kinds of cheese on there. Super dank out of the Uni Kyra 16. Check out my links, help support the channel. I'm an ambassador and affiliate, so when you use those, hooks me up with a little to keep more pizza content going. All the recipes up on SantaBarbaraBaker.com. Amazing homemade pizza. Check this thing out all the way around the Super Dank. That's what you're going to get with the Karu 16. Can you guys see it? So rad. I love this pizza. And I love you all. One love.